there, my name is Sol and I'm part of the team here at MyWork Software. Today I will be showing you how you can automate your accounting and save dozens of hours a month by using our WooCommerce sync for QuickBooks Point of Sale to connect WooCommerce and QuickBooks POS. Let me give you a quick overview of what our sync can do for you and then we will dive into a tour of how our sync works and different things you can do with it. Now our sync for QuickBooks POS is compatible with any version of QuickBooks POS version 8, meaning 2008 or later. You will also need to make sure that your website has an SSL certificate. And if you use QuickBooks Online or Desktop Pro, Premier or Enterprise, we support those versions too. Just check out our separate demo videos for those platforms. Our platform automatically syncs your data between WooCommerce and QuickBooks, allowing you to achieve effortless accounting while keeping both platforms in sync. We sync your customers, your orders, your products, your inventory, your taxes, and more between WooCommerce and QuickBooks point of sale. We do have a true two-way sync for products and inventory and pricing levels between WooCommerce and QuickBooks. Update details on one platform and they will sync right to the other side. Now the best part is that the process is as automated as you'd like it to be. We use the QuickBooks Web Connector to automatically connect our sync to QuickBooks. The QuickBooks Web Connector is an app that comes with your QuickBooks, so there's nothing additional that you would need. But it would look something like this once you install our sync. See, this is our listing here on the QuickBooks App Store. As we connect your store directly to QuickBooks, we create a direct link between WooCommerce and QuickBooks. This means that your data will pass securely between your WooCommerce and your QuickBooks and we won't process it and neither will anyone else. This means that your sync is safe and secure. The way that you'll accomplish this is by installing our helper plugin on your website, which will give you the benefit of controlling your sync right within your WooCommerce admin, as well as the benefit of a sturdy and robust integration with WooCommerce and other plugins on your site. As you can see here, all of the sync is controlled right from within your website. Because we use the built-in web connector, this also means we're fully compatible with your QuickBooks even if it's hosted on a third-party provider like Right Networks or Summit. This is how our application will look once added to your QuickBooks web connector. As you can see here, the interface is very simple and exists only to allow you to either manually run a sync or click Update Selected or to set the sync to automatically happen every X minutes, like every 20 or 30 minutes. All the rest of your syncing and configuration will happen in our sync in your WooCommerce admin, as we were looking over here. Once you activate our helper plugin on your site, you will see the My Work Sync menu right here on your WordPress sidebar. This is where you will go to initially set up the sync and customize the way you sync your data. Now setup is quite simple. You'll start here on the connection page and connect to QuickBooks. Then you'll be able to set a few mappings and then configure some default settings and you'll be ready to start syncing. It's important to note that once you're set up, we'll automatically sync any new customers orders payments for you. We will not automatically sync your old data. However, you do have the option to go back and push old orders into QuickBooks as we won't automatically sync those for you. By the way, we do include documentation, a complimentary setup call, and helpful setup videos after you sign up with us, so it's very easy to get up and running. Now let's jump back to that next step of setup, mapping. We'll start over here in the customer mapping page. You'll see your WooCommerce customers in the column on the left and a drop down to, on the right to select the corresponding customer in QuickBooks. These drop downs show a full list of your QuickBooks customers and make them available for you to map. If you have a lot of customers, you may want to consider using our auto map feature. This tool allows you to automatically match customers based on their name, email, or company name. This is just a tool to help you speed up the mapping process, but you may certainly match customers manually as you map. You can map apples to oranges. See here, the name and the QuickBooks customer that we select do not need to match. Do note that we will automatically sync new customers going forward. This is just a one-time process that needs to be done for your past customers. And you can always come back to this mapping page if you need to make any changes. Now moving on to the product mapping page. It's quite similar to the customer mapping page. You have your WooCommerce products on the left and a drop down on the right column to select the corresponding QuickBooks product. 
The great thing about how flexible our mappings are is that you may match any product to any product, regardless of whether the name or SKU match. Now we know a lot of our users don't use the same exact name or SKU number on both platforms. That's not a problem at all with us. However, if they do map match, you can automatically map them using our auto map tool, and you can match them up by name or by SKU number. One great feature of our sync is that if you only have products in WooCommerce, you can use our push pages over here to automatically push them from one system to the other. And as we do so, they'd be automatically mapped on this page. The mapping pages are just to match any data that already exists in WooCommerce and QuickBooks. Again, it's a one-time process. Moving forward, all new customers and products created will sync over to QuickBooks and thus be matched automatically. We also allow you to map and sync your taxes, as you can see up here. And we include support for combined taxes. Shout out to our Canadian and Australian users. We also fully support any automatic tax calculation service in WooCommerce, like Avalara, Taxjar, or Taxify, to name a few. We're compatible with them all. Now, let's talk about our settings. We have quite a few pages of settings here, and I won't completely overwhelm you with all of the options that you have, but I just want you to realize how flexible our sync is and how it can match whatever needs you have for the way that you sync your data. Starting over here in our automatic sync tab, you'll see that you're able to control exactly what type of data you sync. Now we have two sections. We have our sync from WooCommerce to QuickBooks and our sync from QuickBooks to WooCommerce. As you'll see, we have in on and off switch for each of the data types. From WooCommerce to QuickBooks, you can sync customers, orders, products, variations, and inventory. And from QuickBooks to WooCommerce, you can sync inventory, pricing, and products. Now, as these are on and off switches, you can turn each data type on or off depending on what you would like to sync. For example, if we want to sync products, pricing, and inventory from QuickBooks to WooCommerce, we would turn all of these switches on. Next, I want to show you our order setting page. Now you have the option to sync your orders as sales receipts or as sales orders. It's up to you and however you prefer to see those in QuickBooks. And the way that our automatic sync handles syncing new data is super easy. When a new order is placed, it will be immediately added to the queue here under the My Work Sync. See the queue? Once added to the queue, it will remain here until the next time that you run the web connector, either manually or automatically. This means that even if your computer goes offline for a bit, any new data will simply accrue in the queue to be synced into QuickBooks once the QuickBooks web connector runs again. You'll never have to worry about missing any new data to sync. Now you also have options for how you sync your products. As you can see here, you can very specifically map. As you can see here, you can match each field in WooCommerce to its field in QuickBooks. For example, the QuickBooks product name can be matched to a name in, Quick, in WooCommerce. For example, the QuickBooks product name can be matched to the WooCommerce product name or the WooCommerce product SKU. The same goes for your product description. Your WooCommerce product SKU, for example, can be matched to the QuickBooks ALU, the QuickBooks item number, or the QuickBooks UPC. Now, we also have the option to pull products from QuickBooks into WooCommerce. For these, we can decide what we want the status of those products to be once they're pulled into WooCommerce. We can call them pending review, published, or draft. And then here, we also have the option to sync your images for new products. Yes, we are able to sync images from QuickBooks into WooCommerce. So if you'd like to, you can switch the switch to on. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is the WooCommerce orders page. Once you're set up, the way our automatic sync handles syncing new data is really easy. When a new order is pla 